So from the 36 now, first and 10. And right away, whistles and a flag down. And I believe we'll start the night with a first and 15. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Next receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. From the 40 now on second down, Rodgers. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run with Elliott. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second and 11 now, Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Now it's Rodgers. And he connects with Ertz. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Mike Pinnell with the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against him. On second down, Elliott. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. To throw is Rodgers. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. From 10 yards out. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They had some distance to go. They certainly did. And, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly by the seat of your pants type of coaching but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. You can't prepare for anything with us. You never know which way we're going to go. We zig, you zag. And now some serious opening drive momentum. This one fielded at the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his